In this video, we're going to be discussing how to format an MLA style paper using Google Docs. So the first thing we're going to do is put in our page numbers. Now you'll notice that I've zoomed into 200 because working with the page numbers is a little bit easier if you're zoomed in. So let's go ahead and put those in. So we're going to go to insert, we're going to go to page numbers, and we're going to pick the first option in the upper left hand uh, quadrant uh, with the one and the two on separate pages because you want all of your pages to look the same. So click that and if on your screen the different first page option is clicked on you're going to want to click that off and make sure that that is blank um, because we want all of our pages to look the same. Now you'll notice that the number one here has a gray box around it. What that means is that that number will change with each page. If you accidentally delete that number and just type a one there, Google Docs will think that you want a one on every page. So if anything ever happens to that gray box number, stop, hit undo over here until you get it back and then try again. So for MLA style, you have the author's last name and then the page number. So in case of our paper, our author's last name is Durden. So we're gonna type Durden and then a space. Now in MLA, there is one accepted size for papers and that's 12. And there are two possible fonts that you could use and that's Courier New and Times New Roman. Uh, you can use either one. Uh, these are the preferred ones. And as you see, uh, Google Docs defaults to Arial. So for this paper, let's choose Courier New. Now, if everything is the way you like it, everything looks right, then you just have to click below this header bar here, and that will take you back out into the paper and get you out of the header. Okay. Now we need to put in the identifying information for our paper uh, at this point. So, and that is going to be your full name, first and last, the instructor's name, the course title, and the due date for the paper in day, then month, then year format. And I'll show you that in a second. Now, if you are in one of my classes that meets physically, like my hybrids or my web enhance that meet twice a week in, in a classroom, uh, all you need to do is go to the syllabus and use the due date that's listed there for that particular paper. Very easy. Now, if you are in a synchronous or asynchronous online class, uh, you have an entire week to turn your paper in. So the best thing to do there would be to use the Sunday that the paper is due uh, for that week. Now, let me show you how to do the dates. Um, and I'm just gonna pull a date out of thin air. Uh, let's say February 14th, 2023. But the way you're going to type it is 14 February, 2023. Now, this stuff does matter because I am grading for all of this. So you're gonna wanna make sure to get it right. Now, you'll notice that the fonts don't match between our uh, header, with our page number, and the rest of the paper. So let's go ahead and fix that once and for all. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out to 125 so that you can get a little, little uh, more bird's eye view of what I'm doing. So we're going to go to Edit. We're going to go to Select All. And then we're going to change to Career New 12. Now, one more thing we need to do is this is single spacing. And MLA papers are double spaced for a few reasons. Uh, whether they're online or printed out, they're double spaced. So you're going to go to uh, Format. You're going to go to line and paragraph spacing, and then you're going to click double. And from here on out, the paper should be double spaced and in the right font. So let's give a click at the end of the date. We're going to hit the enter button one time, and now we're ready to do our title. So we're going to hit center align right here, and we're going to type our title for the paper. Now, if you're unsure of what to capitalize and not capitalize in your own titles for your papers, all you need to do is go to my capitalization presentation in Blackboard and open it up. And near the end, you will see a section devoted to titles, and it will tell you exactly what you should and should not capitalize. So we're going to hit return again or enter. 
we're going to go back to left, align, left alignment. We're going to hit the tab button one time because that's indentation and every paragraph needs to be indented. And then we're going to begin our first paragraph. Now I've got one pre-made for us. So let me go ahead and grab that and I'll just drop it in. There we go. Now, when you're ready to start a new paragraph, you hit the enter button one time, just once, hit tab, and start your next paragraph. And again, I've got one ready for us. Now, you'll notice uh, in this paper, in this paragraph, I have in-text citations. This is a research paper, so it's going to have both in-text and work cited citations. Anytime you bring in outside material that you didn't think up into your paper, you made it a research paper, and you have to have these elements. So this is uh, how to do, uh, these are some examples of in-text citations. Now, for more information on how, to, how those work, both I have presentations for both works cited and in-text citations in my uh, presentations folder in Blackboard. You just have to go and check them out. And if you have questions, of course, uh, send me a, uh, an email, call me, uh, or um, send me a Blackboard message. I'll be more than happy to help. Now, let's pretend that this is the end of our paper and we're ready to do our Works Cited page. So we have our in-text citations, but we also have to have a Works Cited citation page with Works Cited citations. So we're gonna do a page break. We're gonna hit Control and Enter. And there's our page break there. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. We're going to go center align and we're going to type works cited just like that. You're going to hit enter. You're going to go left align and then you can start doing your work cited entries. And your work cited needs to be on its own page. Now let's say you're done with your paper and you're ready to submit it. Uh, what you don't ever want to do is send me a Google link. I don't grade links, I grade files. So you need to save this as a file type and upload it to the Dropbox in Blackboard. So you're gonna to go to File, you're gonna to go to Download, and you have two options that uh, for submitting your paper. You can save it as a Microsoft Word docx file or you can save it as a PDF file. Uh, these other formats are not acceptable. Don't, don't use those at all. It's a PDF or a docx. I'll take either one. So let's save as a PDF. And then this will go into your downloads folder. So if we hit show all, go to the downloads folder here. There's our untitled document right there. Uh, that we just created. So let's show it in the folder right there. Now at this point it would be a really good idea to go ahead and rename your file. So we're going to rename it with the student's name, your name, and then the essay it is. And this is essay one. Hit enter and now we've saved our uh, name and everything. So now your next step is to go ahead and upload it into Blackboard. So let's go to Blackboard. You're going to log into your class. You're going to go to the class. Yeah, you're going to go to your class. Uh, then you're going to go to lessons. Lessons again. Go to the writing assignments folder. And then you're going to find the Dropbox for the paper that you're supposed to submit. In this case, it's essay one. So we're going to click the Dropbox. And you can see, you'll see browse local files. So you're going to click browse local files. And there's our essay. You'll go to your downloads folder where it is. I just happened to land on it immediately. So you'll click the essay, hit open. And then when you're ready, if, if you want to provide me with comments or anything, you can. Uh, and then hit submit. And you'll get this message right here, success, your submission appears on this page, and this gives you some information. Uh, so it shows you what I will see right here, and I can download your paper. This is basically what I see when I grade your paper, and I can make comments on it and things like that. Um, and it also will show you the safe assign uh, for your paper, which can help you determine if you've plagiarized and things like that. Um, 
so this report once it's in this one's in progress because it's having to chug through the system but once that's done you might want to go ahead and look at it and make sure that everything is okay uh, you can also view the rubric that i'm going to be using to grade your papers and this is it requirements organization development support mla setup and documentation which is what i'm showing you right now and grammar mechanics so you'll know exactly the criteria you're being graded on uh, but again, come back for this uh, safe assigned submission, give it a maybe half hour and uh, it should be back and you can see where uh, where you land as far as originality and things like that. And that is how to format and submit a paper in Google Docs. And again, if you have any questions, please uh, send me a Blackboard message, email, come by my office or give me a phone call and I'll be happy to talk about any of these points in more detail. Thanks for watching.